morning well it's not well yeah it is still morning it's 11 o'clock and i have been up for like an hour so whoop. but i am nursing a really bad tequila hangover this morning um because i went out to a mexican restaurant for my friend's birthday but it, to be to be honest it's not really a mexican restaurant because a it's run by two greek guys b it's in england um c the food wasn't really authentic Mexican food. It was like this kind of mix. It was like it was like potato skins, you know, and, and stuff like that, and deep fried, breaded, um, like zucchinis and sort of stuff like that. But these guys were absolutely mad. The brothers that ran it, and they kept like making us go up to the bar in the restaurant and drink loads of tequila but the way that they make you drink it without you realizing how much you've had is they put a little bit of lemonade in the tequila shot oh and then we went out to a club after that and oh god yeah so a night of serious overindulgence which was really good fun but i feel awful now and my uh my pub landlord brought me he just went to Turkey and he brought me some uh, some Reiki back which is like aniseed flavoured um, spirit I don't know it's 45% so it's not that strong I guess but it, oh we got home me and Becca got home and drank some of this stuff ugh gross but anyway so I thought I'd just come on here I don't know why I'm I should really wait to make a, a video for when the actual pictures come out um, of last night because we went we uh, we also went to the local leisure center and my friend had hired out um, the sort of slides and fun area of the pool so we were all like 14 year olds yesterday going down these water slides and um, and all the rest of it. It was really good fun. That was obviously before we went drinking and eating. Um, really, really, really good night. But uh, yeah, and I was just, I was, I've been spending like the little time that I have been awake this morning looking through my old diaries. I've got loads of them. I've got like there's one from 2003, this one's from 2002, this one is from 2004, and it's funny because I was just, I had a look, this is 11th of July 2004, I had no idea what I was going to do with my life, feeling pretty like, oh shit, you know, I was just still at uni then and um, and it's what I just thought I'd read what I wrote about university because I because it's funny to think like I was so deep back then like oh you know like really overthought everything even more than I do now <laughs> if that's possible so here we go 11th of July 2004 it's the uncertainty that gets me. It's not certain, not that anything ever is. And how boring would things be if it were, if they were? Transient, life passes me by, is passing me by. Day in, day out, same things, same streets, same sights. Sometimes I feel a little shallow behind my eyes, a part turned off, tuned out, copped off. Having had a very exciting past, if my few years on this earth could be considered to be a past, the drudgery of university life seems very stale and stagnant even. But that doesn't sound right. Surely I should be more alive, have, um, have an active mind, read, learn, love and become. University has meant none of these things to me. The Bauhaus-style building block concrete jungle effect of my university with its neatly compartmentalised, sterilised segments 
and sections gives me more of an atlas effect than inspires. It seems a place to lose your desires and sensibilities and become a part of the machine. Anonymous, reduced to a number, we're mere ants, um, wandering long monotonous corridors with Lego-coloured doors and window frames, all divorced from each other by our own intellectual pursuits, which already seem to have lost all original meaning. No, we're wasps. We eat paper, miles of reconstituted trees, and regurgitate them into neat patterns without, uh, that we know how to produce without any memory of when we were taught or what it is that we were striving to ultimately create. Yes, I'm a cog in the, in the production being currently produced, and it's, un and it's the uncertain outcome of this seemingly endless, soulless process that gets me. The question, what will you do when you graduate, seems synonymous with who are you? Especially when your parents or someone similar of similar status asks you. At least it seems to carry and be asked with the same gravity. It's one of the hardest questions that I couldn't honestly answer. Not at the moment. But I've become very good at fabricating convincing uh, responses. I'm not sure if my answers really do affect the way that people see me, but certainly, I'd, uh, certainly the job I'd like to have when I grow up changes according to who I'm talking to. My history of art tu tutor thinks that I'm planning to go to Warwick and do a master's. Incidentally, he went to Warwick, and uh, incidentally, I did want to, but since then I've moved on to more am ambitious lies about who I am. Now I'm a wannabe lawyer. I <laughs> can't believe I ended up being one in the end. <laughs> now I'm a wannabe lawyer. I'm going to be big, drive a nice car, and probably die of a heart attack at 55, overworked and not having had time to appreciate all that money. At least the idea of it makes my parents and their friends proud. They know I can do it, as I do. But it just goes to show how little they really know about me. All the people who know me, even a little, have advised me against the idea. You, a lawyer, it's so not you. So am I right then? Your job is your ultimate fashion accessory. Access. Access to what? Get it wrong. Be ostracised, unfashionable and out of the loop. Not only that, but it is what you will do for the rest of your productive life. It will determine how you live what you wear, who you mix with, what holidays you go on, everything. If it's so hard, uh, is it so hard then to understand why it is such a difficult decision, one that terrifies me in fact? <laughs> That's really funny. You, a lawyer, it's so not you, and now look at what I'm doing with my life. Fucking hell. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, I, that's from just random blog for a, a random morning where I'm feeling like a bit, woo. So I start term back on Monday. I've got a load of preparatory work to do before I do that, so I should probably get on and do some work now. I don't want to. Okay, bye.